everyone, in today's video, let's set up a RPG style third directional movement in Gideo 4. So, let's get started. In a new scene, select other node and search for character body 2D. Create a collision shape 2D as a child node. And for animations, let's add an animated sprite 2D. Let's go in the animated sprite 2D and set up all of our animations. For that, first select and rename our new animations. Click now, I'll name it Isle or something. And uh, now let's select this icon. Go to the folder where your animations are. I'll select this one. Okay, now I'll select the number of frames in the animations and select all the and add frames. And basically, you're done. You can now set up all the animations using the same process. And I'll meet you when I set up all the animations. By the way, I'm using this asset pack from Ish.io, whose artist name I cannot pronounce. So I'll link down it in the description and you can download it totally for free. So the animations are all set up. Now assign let's in a, assign a collision shape, and uh, we'll just put it up and uh, set the size. Okay, that's good. Now you can just hide this collision shape. Uh, it works even if it's hidden. Now let's rename the players to the player. Nice. Now create a new script. Uh, for the template, uh, I'll just uh, select. I think I'll just select. A default one uh, you can select by this drop down and select the default one now let's create the script okay so now let's understand the code first of all we have a reference to our animated sprite 2d for that you can easily set up references using the already variable and I think I really have a cool nifty trick for this for that you just need to do a simple process and it'll be just easy to set up all the references it's super easy first of all you just select the thing you want to reference for drag it in the in the editor and hold control while you release it and there will be a reference setup you can change the name if you want and that's easy as that okay uh, well the reference setup now let's move on we have an export variable for the speed so we can change the speed whenever we want in the editor it's a float because floats are good now we have two variables first the boolean for if it's moving and a direction these both will help for animation setup now we have a ready function which is set to pass so there's nothing here now let's move on with the code and here we have the movement code left right up and down are actions that are binded with some keys first of all we check if the left action is pressed then we set the velocity equal to vector to the left multiply by speed that means it'll move to the left direction according to the speed we set up then we set the is moving equal true and direction equal to left that will help us in the animations process we do the same for the right key vector 2 dot right multiply speed then true and direction equal right we'll use the same for the up key vector 2 dot up multiplied by speed is moving true and same for the down vector 2 dot down and direction equal down now let's move on with the process of animations before that we'll just confirm here that when we are not moving pressing any key when not moving and is moving is false and move and slide will help with the the movement now here we'll just check if we're moving then we'll set the animations according to the direction we set up earlier in the movement code this will make the animations work smoothly now 
with the idle animations we'll just set up if we're not moving and set up all the animations according to the direction that's all just the same so if we run the game now you can see we can move smoothly and we can play the anim idle animations as well and there's no diagonal movement as we have set up solely a RPG style for directional movement if we want a directional movement uh, I'll be uploading a video on that too so till then you can do something else <laughs> till then goodbye and thank you all for watching you can subscribe if you want till then bye bye